Welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts. I'm Burning Dog Face. And Gogalore is scouring the city of Lungfishopolis for the hidden memory vault, which will give him more insight into the life of Linda. Nor do they need me to knock all these buildings down. A shitload of them just appeared out of nowhere. This building's getting quite the light show. I'm sorry, I thought you were dead. Now you can all be dead. Oh no! I hit everything except what I was aiming at. Not bad. In you go. Fuck, where was I that I saw that, uh... set of cobwebs? Oh, it doesn't work unless I've got a thing in front of me. Yeah, here anyway. I almost get the impression they built an entirely different control engine. You know, just for this level. Was this the one I saw? This seems pretty far from where I was standing. Got it. Piss. I was hoping it would have something hidden behind it. And all that was hidden behind it was this street. Oh. No. You don't get to do that. I'll take that. Oh, hey, that worked out alright. Worst part is, somebody watching this right now knows exactly where it is. Oh, you can't balloon here. Jesus, almost went under the drink. Huh. And I can't see very far, because the draw distance isn't great here. Look at over there. All I see is, uh... Myself. That was weird. Ah! Jesus. Yeah, I can see a, uh... A figment from here, anyway. How am I doing for figments in this level? Good. But not amazing. Oh, well, there's the story they'll tell everyone for the rest of their lives. Stop throwing trains at me! What is wrong with you people? Can I jump off of this? No, you cannot get off. You can't just explore that cave. Oh, right, this is where the planes are. Shit! They were a mission objective. I didn't think they'd come back. I love how they slow down all of the animations for this. Ow! Ow! Hell yeah! Oh, that was sick! Uh, oh, there's this right here. Ah, no! God damn it, that's just another billboard. In the distance there. 
Wouldn't be surprised if there's a uh, uh, an achievement for t c climbing the tallest building in Lungfishopolis. Bonus points for doing it with a screaming woman in your hand, but, you know. I guess then they were just mixing our giant monster metaphors, huh? Yeah, that works too. Yeah, I get that a lot. I feel like most giant monsters get that a lot. Oh, what have we over here? Stop. I'm not even going to grab that until I know that you're dead. There you go. Isn't that better? That you're not trying to kill anyone. people, too. I don't even live here. Uh. <laughs> the enthusiasm was what made that so funny to me. No! <laughs> God damn it, I just want to get onto the side of this building. Oh, hey. Oh, put human children in your mouth. Hell yes! Yep. Well, I really didn't think I was going to do that here. Now I just need that memory vault. No! Well, they had a story to tell for the rest of their lives, too. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm sorry. And how did I get to that island? Oh no, that's right, there were ships there. Holy smokes! Those goggles are 5,000 meters tall! I am almost certain that's not true, because, uh... I mean, even the modern American Godzilla is only 500 meters tall. I think. I don't remember, it's been a while since I heard the numbers. Oh, I do so hate that sound. If you guys wanted to ban that noise, I would be totally down with that. That is not a good place to park. Even with fewer buildings in the way, it's hard to figure this out. I'm kind of curious if this game is a new game plus, because given all of the, like, 
intricately layered alternate dialogue we've seen throughout this game, I would not be at all surprised if they have special lines for if you use powers you're not supposed to have yet on the bosses. You know, like if you use confusion grenades on Coach Chamara, for example. Since we're here. And I've got those equipped. You know, you're not supposed to get those until you reach Edgar. Piss drink. I'm gonna trek back over there and see if there's a bubble monster. Pretty sure I got everything in the prison area. But it is along the way. This is loud. So I will check it out. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, at least there's that. Oh, and they just rebuilt that. Son of a bitch, it is here! Lungfishopolis under siege. Yeah, so the first one was about Linda being mutated into what she currently is. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> and that guy swears... Uh, to stand in its way. Okay. I guess lungfish really weren't meant to, uh, live in cities. So there's one cobweb left somewhere. I don't even know if I can go back to, uh, Cochamara Island. started and there's no bubble. That was your own damn fault. Hey, you guys still in there? It's Gogalor. Oh, this guy. Just ignore him. He'll go away. Knock it off! No! Quit it! Yay! Knock it off! Huh. It skipped the, uh, it doesn't repeat the first one where the guy went, Careful! My chai tea! <laughs> Turns out you can just walk in here. I guess the layout is just, uh, terrible for it. Man, there's not even anything hidden in here. Well, fair enough, I guess. I believe I caught a glimpse of purple over that way when I was way up in the air. <sighs> it's real! I can understand why this area would get cobwebs, yeah. Time to Terrible. wake up. I sure I smell the coffee. This? Yes, I want to go back to the real world that badly. Now there's no way this would ever work. Who would 
be funny if I could wake up Fred by going to, uh, what is it called, Waterloo World, standing next to Fred's avatar and then using the smelling salts. We both wake up at the same time. Actually, you know what? I'll head back to the shore. I've got a whole bunch of cobwebs to drop off and turn into cards. Regroup with the campers, regroup with Ford. Yeah, it'll all be good. What's up, Linda? Prepare yourself for passage, human child. I don't know much about Psychonauts 2, but I do know that it does not take place at Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. So I can only sadly assume that Linda does not return in the sequel, because of course she'd want to stay in the lake. You know, with her much smaller uh, people. Hang on, there's a thing right there. Duh. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crallow? Let's go to Ford's. I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. Serink seventy five. Yep. Well, I wanted to come down here anyway, so I'll just do this before I talk to Ford. Do I? I think I might have one. Ahem. Yes! Still need a marker, though. So I've got enough cards for another one. I wonder if those systems return. I figured it'd be easy enough to, uh... Anyway, that's here. That's the trailer Janitor Ford lives in, I think. I do like all the supervillain-looking dudes in the mug shots. I never really stopped to look at these images before. A lot of them are just weird diagrams I can't follow. That one appears to be an island chain, doing the thing where you trick someone into looking at your fingers making a loop, so you get to punch them. It looks like it's rendered in engine, but I don't know where that set of roofs would be. Feck. Oh, wait! I'm not Goggalore anymore. Hey, look at that. Immediate spikes. Oh, I never noticed that before. That's very funny. That's what's underneath each of these. I mean, well, Raz appears to be the only student who ever... Student? Uh, kid who ever noticed. Camper, I guess. I'm walking all the way over here to remind myself why I'm doing this. Yes. And? Agent Crawler? What is the current situation? You tell me. Oh, you can't tell me from here. Great. I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Okay. <laughs> I do like that they took the time to have the backwards walk animation on the ball. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? Man, I don't know. Where haven't you taken me? I'm headed for the parking lot. I hope you're not leaving us, sir. The machine sounded genuinely concerned about that. Oh. I 
found that one weird, to be honest. Isn't this just connected to another area you can also travel to? This must be Agent Bodello's car. This must be Agent Bodello's car. Huh. Yes, that's right. Psy power. I don't recall who actually pointed that one out in the in the uh, in the comments. It was F. Drake. And while I'm at it, shout out to Derek Floyd and Elthwar for help with the geyser skull. Oh yeah, the rocks. Yes. Oh, fuck that. Um, <laughs> I remember just noticed the cat up ahead waiting to burn me alive. Where would you like me to cry? Yes. Bring me near the geodesic psycho isolation chamber. Roger that, Ranger Cruller. I'm starting to say, uh, I do find it clever that they'll be able oop, they'll have the perfect justification to restart the uh the leveling system in the sequel, because you won't be being a psychonaut cadet anymore. Assuming that the Psychonauts organization doesn't completely unravel and the sequel isn't about what the world is like with Coach ruling it. Jeez. The game crashed, and the timer went anyway, so let's just call it here and pick up next time. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Psychonauts! When Raz continues trying to make the world a better place. Later!